obviously a great comeback that didn't didn't quite finish it off. Just kind of what do you think you guys did to to get the lead there late and just um, you know what what was your take overall on the game? Uh, we just kept fighting. Um, that's been our thing all year. Just keep fighting, keep chipping away. We've been down, we've been down before, so nothing we're not used to. Um, we just kept fighting away, but we got to be better overall. I got to make more. I got to make my free throws. Um, we just got to be a better team in the small areas. We did a lot of. We had a lot of defensive lapses that we shouldn't have. We normally don't have. We just got to be a better team overall. And, and I think it says you're all's first loss in five weeks. So, um, I mean, I would say a great run. But how do you feel about it end, ending like that? And, it would, and how would you feel about the run? You know, the, the winning streak and all that. Um, game by game, uh, it was a good little win streak, but. It don't matter anymore. So we just got to start up, start back from square one, get better as a team. We got to learn from this game uh, and get better next game. Okay, I might have a couple more if time allows. Thanks, Jalen. Curtis. Hey, Jalen, just how difficult was it on you guys to have JD and Stan in, in the foul trouble there in the first half? And then, you know, what did you do to, to kind of battle and, and stay within striking distance there? Um, yeah, it, it hurts when our best scorer, our best offensive facilitator is, is in foul trouble, of course. And we got to figure out a way to keep him out of foul trouble or he has to be more di disciplined in certain areas or something like that. But um, we've always been next man up. Um, we've had foul trouble before and we kind of stayed ready, but we got to be better as a team overall when we do lose our best scorer, best facilitator. We got to be ready to stay in the game and not let them get a lead like they did. And then obviously, you know, disappointed in the loss, but you guys kind of got in the danger zone a couple of times there, down double digits, but you kept battling back. Uh, is there a, a silver lining maybe that you can take away from that? Because you do have a quick turnaround before you head to Missouri on Tuesday. Um, we kind of we kind of been the team that never gives up. We just keep fighting out. Um, same thing last year for our last year's team, and I think it's the same thing for this year's team. We don't uh, stop fighting. That's kind of the thing that uh, Coach Much always preaches to us that we just keep fighting, keep playing hard. The game's not over to us at zero. So um, we're never out of the game until the time's up. So we just kept fighting throughout the game. Hutch. Jalen, I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but you had a career high 22 points today. How, how would you assess your your game? And uh, was it kind of a, a game you felt like you were going to have to score? Or was it just a matter of stepping up with, you know, JD and, and Stanley in foul trouble? Um, I just got a lot of good open looks. Um, from them denying JD the ball first off, and they were kind of helping off on the guards a lot. Um, I got to do better on my three pointers, and I got to be more efficient on six fifteen. I got to make more shots, but um, I kind of it just kind of came to me, and I just played my role. Seemed like it was really tough on y'all to, to finish at the rim today. What do you attribute that to? Um, nothing. We just got to finish better. Scotty. Yeah, Jalen, I was looking at the at some of the numbers and you guys finished with 21 offensive rebounds, but just 10 second chance points today. Is there anything maybe you can put your finger on there as to as to you know why the the low number of second chance points? We just gotta finish. Just that's really just it. We just gotta finish through contact, even if or finish in general, but even if there's contact, we gotta finish, just finish strong at the rim. And then Alabama, I think they scored 28 points off you guys' turnovers. What, what did you guys kind of think about your, your transition defense today? Um, we knew that was one of their things. They're a really good fast break team. And when they get the ball, they run, even if it's not on a turnover. But um, we have to limit our turnovers. We had 16. And we can't. We definitely can't let them turn in the points on the other end and lead a fast break or pick six turnovers. So we just got to uh, do better in that area. Bob, follow up. Uh, Jalen, you, you guys forced a lot of turnovers or Alabama. Maybe they were just turning it over, probably a combination. But you guys weren't able to score as much off that as you normally would. What do you think of that? Couldn't quite take as much advantage maybe as usual in that department. Uh, yeah, I think that also goes with us having to finish. Um, I feel like we had a lot of good looks. A lot of a lot of times we had open shots in the pain or offensive rebounds in the pain or fast break, open threes, whatever it was. We just got to make shots, hit shots, finish. Um, we just got to be better, a better team overall. And, and I, I guess it was, it was Gurley um, hitting some big baskets late. What did what, what, you think of him? Uh, he had two of his four shots at the end on me. I got to 
be a better defensive player at the end. Um, just he had two really big shots. I didn't mean it was your fault. But I meant just what did you think of him making big plays for them? Uh, yeah, he made some really big shots, good shots. Yeah. I just got one more. You guys uh, got to play Missouri quick turnaround. You know, you beat them by 44 at home. I mean, they, they probably won't be, they'll probably be ready for you guys. And what, what do you think about the rematch with Missouri? Um, we got to turn the page, new game. This game's over where we can't do anything to get this game back. So um, we got to come out as a better team when we go to Missouri. We got to be ready. We got to play like we can, play like we're capable of, and we got to go there and get a win. Big game is finally here as we hit Super Sunday with the last game of the football season. From scored, totals, player performance props, to where the next fired coach is going to land, Bet Online is the number one spot for all things NFL betting in 2022. And with the new year comes a new updated desktop and mobile website. Sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BELIEVE to get started. That's B L E A V. And it's not just football. Bet Online's basketball, hockey, boxing, and UFC odds coverage is the best in the business. From sports right down to your favorite Vegas casino games, Bet Online is your number one online wagering destination. Bet Online, the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports and play your favorite games. Bet Online, where the game starts.